Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm4975 and today I'm going to be showing you a money making guide in Forza Horizon 5. <laughs> So just before we get into today's video, I want to do the shout out for this video and that goes to ZXR Darks. If you want to be shouted out in my next video, all you've got to do is leave a comment on this one. So yeah, today I'm going to be showing you a money making guide in Forza Horizon 5. This is not a glitch, it is 100% legit, it is 100% solo and it is 100% AFK. The glitch takes about three hours, so you can set this off running before you go to work, before you go to the gym, before you go to school, something like that, and when you come back it should be done. So to get started with, you are going to need a few things. The first is going to be some kind of um, X-Class car, so this is X999. Now basically how this guide works is we're going to be driving up and down the motorway collecting speed skill points so these two the forza editions will give you the most amount of skill points that's why we say to use them but any x999 car will do so what we're going to do is get in the car click the start button and we're going to scroll over to the creative hubs tab then on the creative hub we're going to go into event lab and then on the event lab you're going to need to search for this race um, I will leave the code for the race in the description below. Um, but once you've done this once, my suggestion is to favorite this race. So you can just scroll over to the favorites tab and load it up from there. And then once you've loaded up the race, do not click start. We need to go into the difficulties menu and change a few of the settings in here. So in the difficulties menu, you're going to want to turn the braking to assisted, the steering to auto steering, traction control and stability control you want them to be on and you want shifting to be automatic. Everything else leave it how it is. And then we're just going to start the race. And from here that is really all we need to do. Now, the next stage is actually to rubber band your controller, which I'm going to show you how to do now. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the easiest way to rubber band your controller. All you need is a single rubber band and obviously your games controller. This works for Xbox and PlayStation. And the simplest way I found to do this is hook the rubber band over the left handle here. Put one twist in your rubber band, then hook it over this right handle, and then on the back, hook it over your right trigger, and make sure it is on the very end of the trigger, and make sure the right, the right handle, the rubber band is right at the end of the right handle, and you can have it wherever you like on the left, and you just have one single twist in there, holding your trigger down, and basically what that's going to do is allow the car to drive itself. So instead of you holding the trigger with your finger, you have a rubber band holding the trigger down so the car will move forwards. So once you've set up the rubber band, how I've just shown you, you're just going to leave your game to do what it's going to do. It's going to steer, brake and drive automatically. So you can leave this completely AFK and come back when the race is complete. So once the race is complete, I will show you what the next step is. So my car has just finished the 50 lap race. You can see that it took 3 hours and 35 minutes. Uh, so that's not too bad. Uh, I went and did a load of shopping whilst it was running, so that was good. Uh, but now I'll just hit continue. And then we're going to head to the festival for our next step and we're going to be buying a few cars over there. Okay, so here we are in the festival now. Now, before you do the next step, what I would suggest doing is um, purchasing all the clothing items you possibly can in the, uh, in the store. 
So if you go on to the uh, the festival and you go to my festival and customize character, and if you go on to here, then you're going to see all the clothing items that you can buy for your character. Now, a few of the ones at the end will be locked. Um, so if I scroll down here, you can see these are locked. So obviously uh, you can only unlock these through wheel spins. But the reason I'm telling you to buy all of these clothing items is so that in a moment when we do the wheel spins, you won't get any of these clothing items coming up in the wheel spin because you've already purchased them. So we only really want to get the cars and the money in the wheel spin. So to reduce the amount of clothing items in there, we're going to go ahead and buy out all the clothing items that we can. Uh, then we're just going to go to garage. We're going to go to the car collection and we're going to go to Pontiac. And we're going to go over to the 1987 Firebird Trans Am GTA. It's the one at the end. And if you hit Y, you can actually purchase this car for 25,000 credits. So you will need to have a little bit of money to get this uh, glitch going. So I've got about a million credits at the moment. And what you want to do is just keep spamming Y and buying a load of these Pontiacs. Um, they're very cheap. They're some of the cheapest cars you can buy in the game. So if you do a few races, you'll be able to unlock a few of these. And that should be enough for now. Uh, we'll come back in a moment and, uh, and get some more if we need them. But now you want to go to the My Cars section and you want to find those Pontiacs that you've just purchased. So I'm going to go to Pontiac here and you can see you'll have a load of Pontiacs that you've just purchased. And you can see that under each Pontiac it says that it's new uh, unless it's one that you've previously owned. So you want to go to any one of the ones that says new underneath, click on it and get in the car. Now unfortunately there is no way to skip this cutscene so every time you get in a new vehicle you will have this little cutscene. I am on the Series X recording this, so the load time is pretty fast for me. Those of you who are still on Xbox One, it may be a little bit slower, but it's not too bad. Um, but then we're going to go to the Upgrade and Tuning section, and go to the Car Mastery section. And this is where you can unlock perks for your car. And you want to copy the path that I do. So you're going to buy the first three slots on the bottom. You're going to go up one to the right one and then up to where it says super wheel spin and that is how we're going to be making our money uh, we're going to do this for each of the firebirds that i've just purchased and then in a moment we're just going to go ahead and unlock all these super wheel spins so i'm going to go ahead and do this i'll fast forward it so you can see what i'm doing and in a moment i will come back and we will do the super wheel spins So there we go, um, I've still got a few Pontiacs left and I've got a lot more skill points so I'm going to go ahead and buy a load more Pontiacs after this video and I'm going to continue doing this but you get the idea of the process there, um, you can do this as much as you want but now I hear you saying well how do you actually make money from this? Well what you want to do now just back out of the um, festival and just wait for it to load you into free mode then go ahead and open up your uh, map here and go over to my horizons tab and you'll see that um, you'll get a load of wheel spins because every time you earn a skill point you get a free wheel spin and we also have a lot of super wheel spins that we've just unlocked through um, the Pontiac so what you want to do now, just go onto the super wheel spins. You can see I've got 10 wheel spins there and just literally keep spamming A because this is going to um, skip the cutscene. So every time um, you do a spin, it will have a cutscene where you can actually skip this cutscene just by tapping A. And uh, every time you skip that, then you've got to press A again to spin the next wheel. 
but you can see every time here we're getting a lot a lot of money we're getting some really cool cars so for example just there we've got the twin mill that is a really cool car and quite a rare one in the game and um, what you can do if you unlock a car that you don't really want so for example the 911 gt3 rs there very nice car but say you decide you don't want that car you can actually put that car up on the auction house and make even more money so you're unlocking rare cars like the maserati gts falls edition there and you're also earning money uh, as well and you can obviously sell the cars for more money if you don't want to keep them but that is basically how this guide works it is very simple to do it is not a money glitch, so you don't need to worry about getting banned for doing this. And it's never going to be patched because it is not actually a money glitch. It's a money method um, that exists in the game. So this will never get patched, so you don't have to worry about a time crunch on this and you don't have to worry about getting banned. But my advice to you guys is if you're just starting out Forza now, do a few races, get yourself a bit of money to get this started. And then just leave this running. You can leave this running for three hours while you're at school, whatever. And then if you get home and you need to do some homework, just set it up. It only takes a few moments to set up and leave it going. And then when you're ready to play, play the game again, you can do your wheel spins and enjoy the free money and the cars that you're getting in the game. But there we go. I hope this video was useful for some of you if you're struggling for a little bit of money. And... As you saw at the start of the video, if you want a shout out in my next video, make sure you leave a comment down below. But thanks all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.